Okay, my math book today is a Weights and Measures book by Jerry Pilata, a very famous writer, and illustrated by Rob Bolster. It's a measurement book. It says Hershey's Milk Chocolate, Weights and Measures. Welcome to Weights and Measures. Here are some words. Foot, gallon, ounce, meter, mile, pint, quart, and many more. What do they all mean? Let's start reading and find out. If something is a foot long, how long is it? Is it as long as an elephant's foot? Is it as long as a chicken's foot? A baby's foot? A basketball player's foot? These feet are all different lengths. Everyone needs to use the same measurement when describing a distance or a length. Here is a ruler. It will help us measure things. Inch. Here is one inch. Each piece of candy here is one inch wide. Two pieces of candy side by side are two inches wide. Here is a foot. No, not the foot on your shoe. In this book, a foot is a unit of measure. 12 inches equals one foot. They've lined up some candy there. Yard, yard. 12 inches equals one foot. Three feet equals one yard. 36 inches equals one yard. If something is a yard long, it does not mean the same thing as the yard behind someone's house. One yard is the same length as three feet. 36 inches is the same as one yard. Mile. One mile equals 1,760 yards. One mile equals 5,280 feet. How long is a mile? It is exactly 1,760 yards. It is also 5,280 feet. How many Hershey's milk chocolate bars? With almonds placed end to end, would you need to make a mile? You would need more than 12,000 of them, they say. Metric length measurements. And these are the kind of measurements, as I mentioned before, meter, centimeter, decimeter, millimeter, are, are linear lengths that are used in the metric system. Let's take a look at some weight. That's enough measuring of length or distance. How about weight? What weighs more, a ton of Reese's peanut butter cups, a ton of feathers, or a ton of lead? That question was a tricky one. Do not be fooled by size. They all weigh the same. A ton is a standard measurement. Who would want to eat the feathers anyway? So although the amount in pieces would be different, the weight would be the same. A ton of feathers, a ton of candy, and a ton of lead. Ounce. Here is one ounce. It is a measure of a specific amount of weight. There are 12 pieces in a Hershey's milk chocolate bar. Together, eight of the pieces equal about an ounce. A pound is 16 ounces. If someone asks you, how much do you weigh? It is common to give the answer in pounds. This bag of Twizzlers, twists, weighs one pound. Five pounds. Well, here is Hershey's milk chocolate bar that weighs five pounds. The Hershey's chocolate factory makes them. Ton. 2,000 pounds equals one ton. A ton is 2,000 pounds. This pile is a ton of Twizzlers Cherry-flavored nibs. Do not eat them all at once. In metric measurement, gram and milligram and kilogram are measurement words that people use when they use those measurements. Now, what if you ask for some milk? It's important to say how much do you want. If you don't, you might get a teaspoon or a tablespoon or a teeny weeny thimble full. Or you might get a tanker full of milk. Liquid needs to be measured. When measuring liquids, we do not use length or distance, we use volume. 
It's a word we used at the beginning of this week. Fluid ounce. Here is one fluid ounce of Hershey's chocolate syrup. Let's make chocolate milk. In this book, a cup does not mean a glass or a cup from your kitchen cabinet. A cup is eight fluid ounces. Here is one cup of chocolate milk. Pint and quart. If you drink two cups of chocolate milk, it's the same as drinking one pint. Two cups equal one pint. A pint is also equal to 16 ounces. Quart. Two pints equals one quart. Four cups equals one quart. One quart equals 32 ounces. Waiter, waiter, I would like to order one quart of chocolate milk, please. Two pints equal one quart. Four cups equal one quart. Gallon. Four quarts equal one gallon. One quart is a quarter of a gallon. That's where the word quart comes from. How many pints are in a gallon? How many cups? Four quarts equals a gallon. Eight pints equals one gallon. Sixteen cups equals one gallon. Billions of gallons. How many gallons of water in the ocean? Billions and billions and billions of gallons. If the ocean were made of chocolate milk, the whales probably wouldn't like it. And then there are metric measurements. Milliliter, centiliter, liter, and kiloliter. And here's time. There's another thing we measure. It is called time. How long did it take to read this book? A second, a minute, or an hour? 60 seconds equals one minute. 60 minutes equals one hour. 24 hours equals one day. There are 24 hours in one day, 7 days in one week, 52 weeks in a year, 12 months in a year. Did it take you one year to read this book? There is not something called metric time. Here is something we cannot measure. We cannot measure how much you love reading, but we hope you always love to read. Weights and measures.